What up, though? It's your girl, Miss Lyric, a.k.a. The Beautiful Beast, and I am from Las Vegas. I meant Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't look like what I've been through. Let me testify. I gotta tell the truth. I don't look like what I've been through. If he say me, then he can say you. I I don't, I'm, I've never been in a group, but I started a movement called Ride or Die for Christ. And it's a movement of women that make music for Christ, for God, to uplift and empower other women. So loaded, I didn't want to live no more. I was crying all the time, like every night, all night. Thinking to myself, God, when you gonna come and make this right? And that was 2010, no, 11, 12, 12, <laughs> 12. Our first record was called uh, been through. It was a collaboration between Mara the Gym and myself. And that's where we came together by bringing other women together. And we got a concept um, of a song that Mara had already recorded called Such a Lady. And you see, H A L L A D Y, I'm such a lady. Got my standards so high, cause that's how mama raised me. I'm such a lady. One of the best, and you just can't tell me no less. We got on the record and it came out really, really cute and inspiring and we decided to bring women together with that record. Um, and all of the women that participated in our first video we been through, it grew the next time. It was just amazing. And just to have mothers and daughters, it was just an amazing movement, you know, to see, you know, women are looking for positive music that they could vibe to and rock with their kids with, you know, so it, it, it's fun, you know, I love it. I love it. Very empowering. My experience going viral, I had mixed emotions about that. Me personally, um, I'm a little spiritual gangster, right? So you can just about say anything you want. I've been through life, okay? So I'm not tripping. I'm not scared of anybody. However, the viral um, social media is the easiest way to bully. Um, and my sister suffered, you know, from it because her walk and my walk was a little different and she did something as a favor to me and she couldn't go anywhere for a while without being recognized so it was a little overwhelming but um, it taught me a lot it taught me a whole lot on you know what what to do and how you have to understand you know God gave me my handle it's God for me which is based off of scripture if God be for you, who can be against you? So I got that already in my mentality, you know? I don't care, it's God for me. <laughs> my documentary, it makes me scratch. It, I, I, want, I want this to be very real because um, just as this project, it was uh, not structured, but it was necessary. I went back home to Las Vegas, the place that I was, and went back to the park where I was raped and left for dead at the age of seven. And that was the start of my journey in this documentary. And um, I had to go back and dig deep of a lot of the things that pained me, that hurt me, things that hindered me, you know, um, even being somebody that inspires people, I still had hindrance and I still had things that was holding me back. So I had to deal with it. I had to go to counseling, I had to dig and one of the things that I did was go over my life back to my hood back to 
where I was from back to where I ran from, much like Moses. And I had to face the real. And um, it's an amazing project. It's very raw, true, and authentic. So my movie is What's Happening in Vegas. That's the movie, right? What's Happening in Vegas. It was my outlet to um, laugh after that documentary because the documentary is so deep, okay? The documentary zip out, pour out the guts. What's Happening in Vegas kind of was done at the same time, so I needed to get a lot of that energy out um, and make my days a little, I, I like to be happy most days because I was sad most days and I was angry a lot of days in my life. So now I choose to have better days. So when I was doing this documentary, it was pretty heavy. So I needed something to laugh. And I have these characters, um, <laughs> not Akeisha, and uh, Doris Faye Williams. Well, Nada Keisha is your neighborhood's favorite hood rat. Everybody got a Nada Keisha or know a Nada Keisha. You, you, you either super lover or you super hater, but either way, everybody knows a Nada Keisha and everybody knows a Doris Faye. Doris Faye is the extra holy moly donut shop you know, Christian that's telling everybody they're going to hell, that's over and extra with everything, you know. She has some good points, but she's extra. And um, I was able to utilize those characters to to have some fun and to, you know, bring some, some joy to myself initially. It was freestyle uh, skits that kind of turned into a movie. And um, it's... It's, it's dope, it's dope, and especially knowing that we had no script. I took a couple of my friends and I was like, yo, I'm in town, what you wanna come up, pull up, be in the movie, and they was like, yeah, and then it was Stellar War, so all of my people was out for Atl from Atlanta and New York, I had people out, so they were in the movie, it was just, it was a lot of fun making that movie. It, it was, it was, I got to, I have to admit, it was fun. Uh, I wanna thank God for my team, I know people think that independence means you do it by yourself, but independence means freedom. I do it with these folks right here. Glory be to God. I claim the victory in the name of the Lord. Let's go. I rebuke you in 